I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. The Reaper, what a pepper, huh? What a name. A lot of misconceptions with the Reaper. I think some people, if they, if they see a chocolate Reaper, or a red Reaper, or a yellow Reaper, a peach Reaper, a white Reaper, they just think Reapers are Reapers are Reapers. And that's not the same. Um, I wanna kind of explain that. This is a peach Reaper. Just a beautiful pepper grown by Uncle Bull Cow. Just spectacular example. Um, I should call it a chalkboard. I need a chalkboard. Like right here, if you think about peppers, you know, there's, let's say, you, we'll use Reaper, for example. You got, I'm going to list them. I'm going to list them in, in the order that the heat really comes in, okay? Red and chocolate will go back and forth. Sometimes red or hotter, sometimes chocolate is. But red and chocolate. You have the mustard, then you have, you know, the orange, yellow, white, the peach is down there. It's my belief that the, as the color drains from the pepper, so does the heat. So a, a reaper is a million and a half to whatever they say reaper is. This is not the same heat. It shouldn't be the same heat as a regular red reaper. It's going to be hot but it won't be as punishing as, let's say, a chocolate reaper would be, okay? I just thought I'd throw that out there. I'm using my knife from May Knives. Such a great knife. I really love this thing, what a great blade. But it's kind of cool, now you guys can see me cut the pepper. Look out, I don't know if you can see how much oil there is on that blade. Well, you can see it there. Blade is soaking wet. Look away. Kids, don't do this at home. Just get an idea. This is why it was so moist on the knife. You can see the oil glistening off it. Fantastic. All right, so it smells. I don't know what to do with my elbows because usually I put my elbows down. I'm figuring this out. A little late in the game to be working on this sort of stuff. But. So it smells fruity. It kind of has a uh, uh, fl the floral notes in the aroma. Anyway, here we go. A peach. Does it taste like a peach? A peach reaper grown by Bull Cow. I'm Johnny Scoville. This is JC. You know, when you eat a super hot pepper, there's a spectrum of flavors you get. You know, on the whole scale, like there's earthy here, there's fruity here, there's a spectrum, it depends on where you're at. On that pod, it started off fruity, and went very, very floral, but as the floral was dissipating, I picked up notes of uh, melon, just like honeydew melon. Now, that didn't last long, and there was a little bit of sweetness in that pepper. Again, this is a very unusual thing. Anytime you hear me say sweetness, I'm talking about a hot pepper. It's a beautiful day because hot peppers and, and sweet don't usually go together. So it means today's gonna be a great day. Now, the burn was very, very crunchy, very fresh, obviously. The burn, um, it's such a funny thing. It's there's no burn in my mouth, like in my tongue or my cheeks and inside at all. So it's my throat is burning. And that's a typical reaper thing. It's almost like somehow I, I 
swallowed it, but didn't have to chew it up to get there. It's really weird. And then there are times where you had peppers that burn your mouth, but ignore your throat. Like it didn't have your throat, you know, somehow got to your stomach and avoided your throat. I don't understand how that works. Uh, but the heat is, uh, I'm not sure if it's peaked yet. Now, it's still a very hot pepper, but it's not as hot as a red one. It's not as hot as a chocolate one. It's still hot though. There were also uh, citrus notes in there also. Did I say that? If I didn't, I should have. There were citrus notes as well. So all in all, the, the pepper was delicious tasting. Yeah, it did. It peaked. Okay, so it's on its way down now. So if you're a non-chili head, you probably, more than likely, you couldn't have swallowed it because your body would just reject it. Your body would be like, hey, no, no, no. Not a good idea, so we're not going to swallow this. And you know, I've been, I've done that in videos where I'm like, where I'm in a contest and I'm trying to swallow something. My body doesn't want it anymore. It's like, ah, it's a battle. Um, so I don't think they could swallow, but if a, a, a non-chili head could swallow this, it's a, a 10, it's a problem. It's a bunch of quick internet searches about how to fix, you know, heat and, you know, what what can you do? Should I go to the hospital? I mean, that's, what, that's probably what would happen. Uh, if you were a chili head, six and up, it's already almost back down to nothing for me. So, what, for you know, when, you're the, the, when you have a higher tolerance, you peak quicker and you come down quicker. Brand new at this, it takes a lot longer to peak and you're suffering longer, it takes longer to come down. It's kind of how it works. Yeah, I'm back to this, about back to zero. All right, so listen, we have, I have some great stuff coming up. I've got pods from a handful of growers. Pods on the way right now, some very cool ones from some very cool friends of mine and some people I've never eaten pods from and people I have, so lots of great content coming up. Bull cow with the wind sent me some really great peppers. The challenge this morning was to figure out what peppers to eat. Because there are some really, really pretty peppers here. I think this Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion is about as cool as it gets. Huh? You know, fortunate I am, I get to eat pods like this. It'll be, a th you know, I don't think time will ever happen where you can see these in a grocery store. So these aren't really I'm very lucky. This is the one that just trips me the most. Look at the color on this, please. Pink tiger, peach boot, solid gold ghost. But watch this. What a spectacular pepper. I can't wait to eat this one. So that's some great pe uh, pepper reviews and some challenges coming for you. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. In the description box, you're going to see Uncle Bull Cow. He's a great guy, makes great challenges. He's got some stuff coming. He's going to tell you. Um, right there is the pepper. Click the pepper when you do your riding with me. If you don't want to miss a video, don't. Uh, the ways you can avoid it, you can start by hitting notifications, all right? Um, you can also just stop by and visit us every day. Here's the deal. You're on YouTube every day anyway. You are. So just type in C-H-A. You only have to finish it. It'll finish it for you. That way you don't miss anything. Uh, if you want content over and above the normal stuff, get your bus pass. There's over 100 videos now. There's some pretty cool stuff in there. The lifeboat is right there. That's my brother Tommy's channel about uh, beating an addiction. If you or somebody you know has a problem, beat it. I did. If I can, you can. It will help. It's just that simple. Right here, there are more videos. I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching with me today. I'm Johnny Scoville. And this was Chase the Heat. It's not turning off. Come on. Come on.